Hey, just in time for Thanksgiving, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious, juicy turkey breast. Real easy. Let's right, go. Guys, so we've got our turkey breast here. Again, this is about a four pound turkey breast. It's only going to take about an hour or so to get it done. And it's just a really, really simple process. So what we have here, I have a whole stick of salted butter. Then we have two teaspoons of tomato basil rub. Now, if you don't have that, you can disregard this kind of use whatever kind of favorite uh, poultry rub you have. But this is tomato basil. I have a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of uh, paprika, a teaspoon of black pepper, and about a half a teaspoon of salt. And what you want to do is you just want to incorporate all of those seasonings in a bowl with your butter here. We're going to mix that up. And you just want to incorporate all those seasonings into that butter. And we're just going to smear this butter all over this turkey breast. And on the inside of that uh, skin there, remove that skin and get everything nice and coated. Simple process, just in time for Thanksgiving. Especially for those that may not have big gatherings or it may just be you and your spouse or you and your small family. Then that's all it's going to take. So let me get this together. All right, we've got our butter and seasoning mixtures mixed together. Now, if you need to, you want to have it room temperature and have that butter sitting out for a while to where it's pliable. If it's not as pliable as you like, you have to throw it in the microwave for five seconds or so. Go ahead and do that. But now we're going to go ahead and slather our turkey breast. Now, one thing you do want to do, you want to go ahead and try to get in, uh, in between that skin and that meat to make sure that we're putting some of this seasoning in there as well. You can just take your fingers and just kind of run it in between the skin and the back there. There's a little touch of a membrane that kind of holds that skin on. And you just want to kind of go in there without breaking the skin if possible. Start adding some of this butter right on the bottom or in the in between rather. Let's get it nice and deep in there. Then we're going to put the rest on the breast. Now, if your breast comes with the neck still on it, you may have to take some shears and cut the neck out. That's what I did do here in order for it to sit right. Otherwise, the neck would be there and it may be a little cattywampus. Just take some uh, kitchen shears or a nice sharp knife. You can cut that neck out of there. That way it'll sit nicely in your pan. Like so. All right. All right, so we got the seasoning smeared on the outside and on the inside. I've got my oven set to 325 degrees. We're gonna go for about 15 minutes per pound. Again, this was a four pound breast. So we're looking at about an hour. I will be probing it when we get to about 164. Uh, to, to do carryover temp, you don't wanna really overcook this thing. Now, you know, turkey breast has a tendency to be dry. So you don't wanna go too much higher than 165 at all. Pull it out, we'll wrap it, and then we'll go from there. Five. Look at that. Looks beautiful. So what I want to do now, I just want to loosely cover it with foil to allow it to rest for a little while before we slice into it. You never want to slice into your uh, anything, for that matter, while it's fresh out the oven. Otherwise, those juices will pour out. But what you want to happen is for everything to reconstitute in and settle in. So I'm just going to loosely cover it with foil. Let it rest, and then when it's time to slice it up, I'll bring you guys back in and let you see what the finished result is. All right, guys, so let's go ahead on and get this turkey breast cut up. The way I've learned years ago and the way I've always do, done it, you just kind of go down the back or the breastplate here. And then go around and kind of cut it out. <clears throat> and this was a smaller breast, but turned out well. Took just a little over an hour to get it completely done. You can save this carcass. You can, you know, peel the meat off of that, but 
save this carcass as well and you can make some good soup or turkey stock out of that. Set this to the side. So, go ahead and give it a good cut. Nice and moist. You can see those juices in there. So, cooked perfectly. Smells so good. That's right. Get a quick bite again. Super juicy. Taste that. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, y'all. It was just that simple. Just that simple. Perfect for the holidays. If you're just a small family or whatnot, try it that way. Make the seasoning up, the garlic herb butter. Smear it on there. Let it go for a little over an hour. And it comes out perfect every single time. There it is.